One future challenge of agriculture will be to maintain the food security in times of climate change. Future plant breeding therefore has to account for the genotype's survival during drought and a good recoverability after rainfall events. This has also been observed in drought stress experiments with the wild cross cultivated barley nested association mapping population Halle exotic barley, termed HEB25, which has been established as a toolbox to mine naturally occurring alleles with respect to replenishing the barley breeding pool with valuable resources. In the DPPN Access funded project Retiller, we want to take a deeper look at this phenomenon of retillering and its potential impact for drought stress prone environments. We apply five different treatments with different levels of drought and rewatering to mimic different natural environments. For this experimental setup, we make use of a Lemnatec scanalyzer system at the IPK Gatorsleben with a capacity of 520 pots. This system is capable of automated daily non-invasive high-throughput phenotyping of plant architecture and biomass through RGB and fluorescence imaging. Additionally, for each pot, the different drought and rewatering scenarios can be programmed individually so that the daily watering based on the intended field capacity can be warranted for each pot. Ultimately, this will contribute to the understanding of the retillering capacity, a rarely investigated trait, and propose possible directions for future barley breeding. The setup follows these steps, which are explained in more detail below. The first step is to sow the seeds of different genotypes of the HEB25 population that showed a different retillering behavior in preliminary experiments. The seeds are sown in small trays to vernalize them for five weeks at eight degrees. In the second step, a defined amount of specific soil substrate is filled into large pots, which is the basis of targeted watering. In the next step, the vernalized plants are transferred to these pots and put on the conveying belt system of the Lemnatec scanalyzer platform. Then, the Lemnatec system starts to water each of the 520 plants to a target field capacity of 90%. This target value is kept for the well-watered control treatment during the whole experiment. For the stress-treated pots, as soon as a plant reaches the shooting stage, defined by the presence of the first node, or Zadok stage 31, the watering is stopped until the pot reaches 20% of field capacity. When those 20% are reached, the drought stress phase starts for 14 days, where the pot is kept at 20% of field capacity. Tillers are counted at the onset of the stress treatment. After 14 days of stress, each plant was rewatered based on four different scenarios, which are mimicking possible naturally occurring rainfall conditions. The plants will be grown until they are fully mature, and their fractions of fertile and sterile tillers will be counted to derive the retillering behavior of each plant under different conditions. We will then relate these observations to the final plant yield to distinguish the impact of different tillering dynamics for future breeding efforts. Thank you very much for watching this video, and special thanks to BMBF for enabling this project through funding in the frame of DPPN access. Also thanks to the people involved in conducting the experiment at IPK Geidersleben.